Regards contributors, students, academicians, managers, leaders, and wannabe leaders. Dr. Byron C. Phillips, MBA, your professor, your tennis pro, your executive coach, and your consultant for business management, leadership, and top executive coaching. Topic for this video is the basic traits of top managers. What are the traits of the top manager? How vital are these natural traits in forging top leadership skills, abilities, and skill sets. Top managers share some natural qualities and traits that distinguish great managers from mediocre and subpar managers. Qualities of the top managers include top communication skills, listening, both passive and active, confidence, caring about others, not just oneself, and authenticity, saying what one means, meaning what one says, and being genuine in all aspects of work and play. Clifton and Harder, in their landmark book, It's the Manager, cited five traits of the very best people sitting in the C-suite. Number one, motivation. Motivated by self, motivating others. Work style. These people work long hours and encourage and model others to do the same. In fact, there is no such thing as work-life balance anymore. It's work-life harmony. One is always working if he or she is effective. Three, initiation. Four, collaboration. Top leaders develop people and teams. And five, thought processes. The very top leaders think differently than others. They're able to use both the left brain and the right brain to be linear thinkers and workers, but also creative and innovative. Clifton and Harter discovered in research that 50% of greatness in managers results from hard-wired tendency. Without the hard-wired tendency, people will never be great leaders. However, the other 50% comes from experience, great coaching, drive, and motivation. These esteem writers quoted the Gallup studies, quote, most team leaders do not have the natural tendency for managing people. So it behooves us to hire people who have the right stuff. Gallup recommended find managers with traits of motivation, work style, initiation, collaboration, and thought process. We can do a pretty good job now of weeding out the people who don't have those tendencies. Two, give talented people opportunities to lead, even if they're at the bottom of the so-called totem pole at the moment. Three, do not base decisions based on tenure or experience. There's a reason why some people have been in the same job so long. And four, offer money to make management and top leadership desirable. 